All right, we've officially reviewed the footage from the Madison Square Garden rally of Trump, and the results are in. Like, vulgar is an understatement. That would be offensive at a fringe comedy club. Yeah, like a seedy one. But you're like, oh, wow, and they have a comedy show. Oh. Never should be televised, much less at a presidential rally for a party. And, you know, I'm willing to flex, all right? I'm going to own it right here, right now, all right? I voted for Clinton in 2016. I voted for Trump in 2020. And I think I was wrong both times. And I'm really glad that I have a team of Americans that helped me make this decision. There were some very specific circumstances for why I voted for Trump in 2020. However, after his behavior on January 6th, much less his behavior in the court system, and everything that has come out since then, and now seeing his ongoing commitment to cruelty and low-hanging fruit cruelty and insulting and our, that. our fellow, yes, and, and, and inflaming it, our fellow citizens, and I don't know, I just, and people all around the world, I... It's just, it's just a new level of low. So, you know, my, my, my mental image for that is somebody going, well, I didn't start the fire. Well, you're sitting there fanning the coals. That's right. I didn't start it, but I'm but here. I'm certainly going to keep this exactly, going. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Like, what is this? It's disgusting and makes it that much easier to decide who I'm, gonna, who I'm more passionate about voting against this time. Which is not a great motivator. Which is not a great it's motivator. Good enough. I'm not into it. If it if it wasn't so dire this time, like if it was I, I definitely would just avoid the vote because I think really Americans should be boycotting altogether. And I wanna say too, it's very difficult to talk about because I care about people on both sides. And I really know they care about the country and respect what they think and stuff, but like this is not workable. I can't get behind this. And much less in the name of, this is of not okay. Of God. They threw God out there. I was like, don't get, don't bring God into this. And then Hulk Hogan goes, this is the most powerful force in the entire universe, this rally. Which, yes, that much energy and people together, I'll give him that, a lot of energy. But he said it at a very inopportune time because he's like, this is the most powerful energy in the universe. And he's like, I don't see any Nazis here. And I'm like, the one notable thing about a Hitler rally was the energy and that yeah. they were talking about it being the most powerful place in the universe. Like, this is not the time to bring up that reference, sir, when you say that. And and anyway, I just, uh, yeah. Any additional thoughts? Um, only that it was very disturbing to know that that was a well-organized group and that's what they allowed and approved. That was the best they came up with and decided this is the message we want to send and that's that's how we want to send it. And I thought it was funny that Hulk Hogan had more time and lines than uh, Elon Musk. Elon Musk. How is that man CEO of several companies? He's such a weird person. Give me a break. He gets up. He's like, yeah, yeah, this is so much energy. People yeah. are cheering for me. Yeah. Like, have you you own multi multiple. Billion dollar companies and like you're this excited. And don't get me wrong, I understand the energy is overwhelming. And then he has the audacity to be like, your tax dollars are being wasted. I'm being like, yeah, on you. That's how you and got rich. Like you. You were just smart about finding a program you could build a government for. Like, don't tell me you're some kind of brilliant billionaire, especially when you get on stage when you have a moment to say something to the people. And clearly, the only thing they ask you to say because you are, are mentally like unfit to be on stage is vote for Trump. That really was all he was supposed to say in that span. Yeah. Just the way handling, handling rich, important people who know how rich and important they're, right? That's it. Anyway, he's like, yeah, yeah. He couldn't even nail it. He couldn't even give any reason or enroll you. He had like three lines. No passion, no why. It's Just so vote. Awkward. Vote for Trump because your tax dollars and money. Hmm. Rich. You. Hmm. <laughs> Woo. Like, Elon really? Musk, everybody. Right, yeah. Elon Musk. You don't see restored satellite space to a world. country in the middle that of the world. Him. Rockets to space, people. Rockets to space. Leading edge of you technological development. Right there. Yes. Right at work. Mm -hmm. Like, come on. I don't know. The whole thing is so freaking embarrassing. We show so many candidates that are so good up there. All right, I'll leave it there. I think I, I ranted enough. Back to... Uh, Back to what we're doing. Yep.